Hey everyone, this is Tim. I hope you're having a good new year and getting back into the swing of things. I've been uh, reminiscing about all the great buffets I've been to uh, throughout the last year. The great buffet in Toronto, the Dragon Pearl with all their Peking duck, and also the buffet at uh, Queens, New York with uh, their Peking duck as well. And that spurred on my craving for Peking duck and pretty excited because today we're going to visit a place uh, for really nice duck and I think they are actually the ones that started it all. Uh, they're 150 years old and they happen to be right here in Vancouver and it gets better because I get to meet up with my good friend Monique that I haven't seen in a while and even more special I get to meet someone I haven't seen in a really long time a uh, special little friend, Harmony, Monique's daughter. So it's still a little bit early now. I'm in Chinatown and uh, with uh, Harmony coming, I think I'm going to get her a little bit of a sweet treat. Uh, maybe some donuts. In fact, I'm right here. Uh, come on, let's go check it out. So it's pretty cool here. I can see all the amazing donuts. So let's see what they have. Oh, so these look pretty amazing. The Victoria cake. Oh, and I see the donuts and I think Harmony's gonna love these. I think are brioche donuts. And these are the regular stuff. Oh, and look at these overstuffed wonderful donuts. Hi there. Can I, can I get some donuts? All right, maybe uh, I'm gonna get some for my friend. Well, how about a medium box and a small box for myself? I think she'd like some strawberries and cream. How about one raspberry? Oh, let's try a cereal milk. And then what is that? The tiram tiramisu, oh, that's good. And then probably a, oh, this is a, a jolly hazelnut. Let's go for one of those. We have five, so we can't leave the empty space. What would you suggest? Oh, okay, yeah. So let's go with the traditional one. Uh, but there's so many to choose. How about a matcha? Something a little bit more healthy. So that is Harmony's box of donuts. And now for me, I think I'll go for two. So why don't we try the strawberries and cream? And because it's uh, early in the morning, how about a nice tiramisu with a little bit of coffee? Yeah, thank you. All right, so I am all set. We've got some sweet treats for Harmony. And uh, I think we're ready to go. So we've got our donuts here and it's still a little bit early and uh, a little bit hungry also and it's kind of nice to see Chinatown all opened up, uh, new places to visit and I see a new place coming up. I think I'm just going to grab some breakfast before uh, meeting up with uh, Monique and Harmony for that great Peking duck and I see a Singaporean restaurant, maybe some nice laksa would be good. All right, let's go in. Alright, All right, so pretty cool. It's still a little bit early. Alright, so it's uh, kind of nice to sit down and uh, this is, uh, I think it's called Nancy Go Yaya. I'm just looking at the menu and it looks pretty good. Uh, Kaya Toast, that looks interesting. And uh, ooh, the chicken curry puff looks good. What caught my eye is the laksa. We'll go for one of these. So it's pretty interesting. We actually go up to the counter to order. Let's see. I think I'm going to go for a bowl of laksa. Laksa. And you know, the curry puffs yep. are pretty cool. Can I go for one of those? Yep. So this is for me. Yep. All right. So I have my number and I'm just waiting. And uh, I think I'm going to go for a cup of coffee and maybe some tea. Hey Liz, how are you? Thank you so much. I can sure use a cup of coffee this morning. <laughs> so I've never had a Singaporean coffee. Thanks, Liz. Okay. Oh, thank you so much. Can't wait to try the coffee. Oh, and I see Roberto with the curry puffs. Thank you so much. Oh, these are the curry puffs? Oh, thank you. Gotta give that coffee a try. So we have the kopi here, and we have the whole tea. All right, cheers.
Cheers. Mmm. Oh, nice and smooth and rich. A little bit of condensed milk is really nice. Mmm. Very good. And I just had to order the pulled tea. Uh, Liz talked me into it, uh, but let's give that a try too. There's never too much caffeine. Oh, that is so good. So rich and creamy and that tea flavor is so deep. Mm. Very nice. And while we're waiting for the laksa, I can't wait to try that curry puff. Cheers. Mmm. Mmm. That pastry is nice and flaky and laminated. Nice curry gravy and uh, the chicken mince. Mmm. Very good. So flavorful. And oh, I see the laksa coming. Thank you, Roberto. Oh, oh, wonderful. Thank you. All right, so let's put a pause on the curry puff because laksa doesn't wait for you. You wait for it. And let's see what we have. All right, so beautiful shrimp, really large. And I think these are fried tofu puffs stuffed with some pork mince and a nice broth and some eggs. Let's give that a try. I'm gonna try one of these. Soak up the soup. Mmm. Mm, very nice. And the tofu puff not only soak up the soup, but it's stuffed with a nice pork filling. Nothing like a stuffed tofu. Mm. Very good. I think we need to dig into the noodles. So we've got the egg set to the side. Oh, beautiful soup. Wonderful noodles, bean sprouts. It's going to get messy. There we go. Mm. Very nice and a little bit messy. The soup is nice and creamy, a lot of coconut flavor, a little bit of tang. And I definitely have to go for the shrimp. All right, cheers. Mm. A little bit messy, but very good. So, I think I'm going to finish my uh, breakfast here and uh, I'll be on my way to see uh, Monique and Harmony for a great feast. Thank you for joining and I'll uh, take you back shortly. Oh boy, so that was a lot of food and it was a nice uh, detour from picking up the donuts. Uh, gosh, Liz uh, was really great with the coffee and the tea. And I think I just had too much caffeine and sugar, a little bit jittery. I'm running a little bit behind. Uh, hopefully Monique is here, but I am here at uh, Chunju De, uh, which is a uh, QJD in English. And this place is pretty magnificent. It's been here for, at least the restaurant has been here for 150 years over. And uh, I think they're the first place that uh, offers Peking duck. Uh, and I think they do what, 2 million ducks a year. So uh, it's going to be two million and one now. So I'm just about to head in and uh, hopefully Monique and uh, Harmony are there. So uh, thank you so much again for joining. Uh, let's go inside. All right. Oh, look at this. All right, good. And I see Monique and Harmony there. <laughs> hey, Monique. Hey, Harmony, how are you? Happy New Year. Happy New Year. And we have some donuts. So in case the desserts are limited, we'll give these a try. Oops. All right, okay. so this is, uh, I'm a little late, but okay. this is our table. And uh, it looks like Monique is doing the same thing. All right, so, so nice to be in a warm restaurant when it's so cold outside. So, Monique, are you ready for some Peking duck? Absolutely. Oh, it's my favorite. Excellent. Hey, Alden. Hey, thank, thank you, you for this wonderful table. Absolutely. Welcome to Vancouver Chinchita. Oh, thank my you. Honor to serve you. 
Yes, oh, yes. this is great. So, so much to order. I think we're gonna... Any recommendations on the drinks? Well, usually for the morning team, I would suggest the tea or sparkling water to comfortably start with. Okay. Right? And then green tea or black tea, that's in your category, like whatever you flavor. Otherwise, I would just arrange for you nicely. Yes. Okay, sounds good. Well, why don't we leave it up to you? And let me show you the dining room here. And I usually come in early, so where everything is nice and pristine. And the ceilings are pretty cool. They look like rooftops. I think those are the rooftops of China. So I'm getting a little hungry. Uh, we've pre-ordered the duck, but let's take a look at the menu. All right, so lots of dim sum, and I think they have other dishes too. Thank you all for much needed. This is a second dose of caffeine for the day. So we didn't even get a chance to order and everything's coming out fast and furious. We pre-ordered the duck and oh, I see Chef Wong carving the duck over there. Thank you so much. This looks amazing. Oh my goodness. Chef Wong, how many, uh, how many ducks do you carve over the years? Oh, you see, I work here uh, like uh, over 18 years. Yeah. So maybe 2,000? 2,000 ducks. Yeah, 10,000. 10, 10, oh my goodness. Oh, it looks beautiful. Thank you. All right, thank you. Um, oh, so let me show you what we have. We've got the crispy skin from the duck and then the duck breast. Uh, I think we're ready to enjoy. Let's grab a cup of tea. Oh, cheers. 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 Happy New Year. Happy New Year. All right, cheers. Hmm, very good. Mm -hmm. All right. So I think we're gonna have some duck and oh, I think Alton's gonna serve. <laughs> Impeccable service from Alton who is serving Harmony and Harmony is in anticipation to try that duck. Alton was nice enough to explain the intricate details of how to eat a Peking duck. Unfortunately, little did he know, Harmony is well versed in the art of duck eating and she has been waiting patiently. But what caught our eye was that crispy duck skin right on the table there. So this is the crispy duck skin. skin. You dip it in the sugar. Mmm. Oh, that's very nice. A little bit of sugar, light, nice and caramel. The skin is nice and crispy, and actually it's shatteringly crisp. And then a nice, luscious, uh, oily pockets that just explode in the mouth. Mmm, very good. Harmony, how's the skin? Oh, it's pretty good. And Monique, how's the skin? Fantastic. Oh, awesome. All right, pancake here, and on the plate. Flip it open. So let's try a few pieces of the duck. Duck number one, duck number two, and duck number three. You really gotta pile it up. And then a little bit of scallions for the herby notes. Some cucumbers on the duck. And then a little bit of sweet sauce. And we'll fold it up. Do that with our hands. Oh, cheers. Mmm. Mmm. Very nice. Thin pancake, translucent, and then slices of thin, juicy, and crispy duck. Mmm. I think I can have a dozen of these, and I think I will. Monique, how's the duck? You know, actually, the duck and the, the fat and meat is very well proportioned. Mm, a little bit of fat, a little bit of meat. Very yes, good. Yes. So we're going to continue having the duck and uh, we'll take you back for some more. Oh, so we finished that duck in record time and I think we're ready to order some more. Uh, I think we're just going to order one per person. Uh, Harmony, what do you like to order? Um, I was thinking the salmon alberi or the pan fried Dumpling. And Monique, uh, what do you like? Okay, I would like to try the spicy wonton in chili sauce. All right, cool. And I saw another table have this really nice lobster dish. Uh, let's go for some lobsters. 
All right. Oh, and here's Alton. All right. Can yeah. we order? Uh, I think Harmony wants the uh, pan fried dumplings, sure. the pan fried shrimp dumpling, sure. and Monique will have the spicy wonton. Spicy wonton. And I saw yeah. and I saw this wonderful lobster. Wonton. Can we get that? Yes. Well, I'm gonna get that happen. Yes. All right. And then oh, and then I see. I think Harmony was deciding between the the the, the dumplings and the. Salmon? Can we get some salmon abiri? Yes. Oh, and I see you have some uh, noodles. The noodles is very northern Chinese style. Oh, style noodles. can we get some of those? You want to try that? One? Let's do. And I see you have some duck liver. Uh, yes, we used to have duck livers. Uh, manually, uh, seasonally, we change the menu. We have a duck beef, duck, uh, which is a goose beef. I mean, in uh, mustard sauce. This is very northern Chinese uh, uh, wild duck as well. well so. Oh, can we try one of those? Is that okay to try because it's very strong flavor? So I hope we didn't overdo it. I think we ordered quite a bit and hopefully we get the salmon and the pot stickers. Um, and then I can't wait to try, was it the goose feet Alton was talking about? So this is not chicken feet, uh, goose feet. We'll give it a try. All right, and we'll take you back when it comes. Oh, and I see our first dish coming. This is, I think, the goose uh, flipper, they say, but I think it's goose feet. But I think it's goose feet. Flipper. The goose. Oh, the goose flipper. So this is kind of nice. The weird and the wonderful. Uh, let's give this a try. It's okay. All right. You should try. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> How is it? Crunchy. It doesn't taste much like much. So our first taste of goose flippers. Cheers. Oh, it's a little bit of a strong mustard taste. It's kind of gelatinous, boneless, and a really strong, pungent mustard aroma. Mm. Mm. A bit of an acquired taste, and I'm still acquiring it at the moment. So, mm. can't wait to see what's next. All right, what is this? King Samuel. All right, thank you. And it looks like Monique is doing the same thing, taking pictures while Harmony waits. And I think she's done. So let's dig in. Oh, go for it. Oh, look at this. So it's pretty nice. They not only have the uh, uh, Chinese dishes, but some uh, Japanese dishes as well. Let's give it a try. Mmm. Oh my goodness. Rare tuna seared on the outside, nice and charred on the outside, soft and custardy on the inside. A little bit of rice. Mm. It just melts in the mouth, very good. And I see Monique is doing the same thing to Harmony. I think Harmony is realizing how difficult it is to eat when there's a camera in your face. Oh, Wilbur, what is this? Oh, okay. all right, let's give these a try. Oh, go for it. So I didn't realize this until Harmony mentioned the shrimp dumpling. There's an entire shrimp inside. Mmm, mmm. Really nice. Nice and crispy on the outside, juicy. And there is an entire shrimp inside, but surrounding the shrimp is some luscious pork filling, nice and light and tender. Mmm, so good, nice and juicy. Oh, and Alton's here again with more food. I think these are the comforting noodles. This is called the um, cha cheng mi. Cha cheng mi. Cha cheng mi. Very traditional northern uh, Chinese uh, noodle dish. Right, I can't wait to dig into the noodles. Oh, look at that, nice and saucy. And I think Alton mentioned that uh, this is a vegetarian noodle. Aside from the pork uh, sauce and the pork fat, which is really lovely. Let's give that a try. Mmm. Mmm. Very nice. The noodles are a perfect texture, and that sauce is nice and rich and uh, warming. Very good. And that pork fat certainly helps. Mmm. 
Mm. Very good. Oh, and I see a casserole of lobster coming. So Monique was saying that uh, this is a perfect dish for the cold weather. Uh, and in my opinion, it's a perfect dish for the summer as well. Uh, lobster is for all seasons. Oh my goodness, look at that. They've got uh, lobster chunks. Scallops, prawns, and vegetable, which is very good spice, and also the rice and the uh, lobster too. Oh, thank you so much. All right, so let's dig into the lobster. Look at this. So he's waving. And let's see what's inside. Oh, look at this. A little, oh, nice shrimp. I, I, oh, this is lobster. And you're saying there's some scallops in yep. there? Yep, there's scallops. Let's give the broth and this uh, soupy porridge a try. Oh, that broth is so nice and luscious. It's kind of got the sweetness of the ocean. Nice little brininess and very light. And a bit of rice adds a bit of texture. Very good. Mm. <clears throat> I think my hand's shaking a little bit from all the caffeine. Oh, and there's some lobster. Is this one? Mm. Maybe this is that lobster is perfectly cooked. Nice and springy texture. And again, very fresh. Unexpected, mm. unexpected Very good. No, it's not Harmony, what did you think? It was really good because this was actually my first time trying lobster. Really? It actually just tasted like a shrimp. Oh, excellent. So we're just going to continue finishing up all this food and hopefully we'll save some room because Alton was nice enough to uh, help us pick up some desserts and I can't wait to see what he's chosen. So uh, with that, uh, we'll take it back when they come. Cheers. So that was a lot of food and now we have some nice clean plates and a tiny little fork and what that means is desserts coming. Oh my goodness. Oh, this is cheesecake. Oh, no, so all we have nice. here is um, peach uh, mousse cake, mango cheesecake, and then a mango pomelo, all fresh made to order, right? Oh, wow. This is Chinese style business and those two cookies. So Monique, Harmony, shall we dig into the mousse cake? Absolutely, can't oh. wait. Let's see. Oh my goodness. Look at this. So beautiful. Oh, look at this. Wow. All right. So for Harmony. Thank you. There you go. There you go. All right. And I can't wait to dig in. Oh boy. Mmm. Oh my goodness. A nice thin shell that just shatters on the outside and this luscious creamy peach mousse and that piece of cheese which is a uh, cheesecake in disguise looks so good. Uh, I think the only way to do it is to dig in together. So we'll each get a corner. Oh, it's so oh soft. my goodness. It's soft like brie. Oh, this is the mousse. Oh my goodness. You have to try the sauce. Oh, that is so nice and luscious. A little bit of mango flavor, but you can really taste the cheesy goodness of the cheesecake. Mmm, very good. And the gold absolutely adds nothing to it. <laughs> but we got to try the mango uh, sago next. Oh, I remember having this in the... Uh, buffet at uh, in Queens okay so I'm gonna grab a little bit more this is really my favorite so nothing like a good soup for dessert okay so we have some chia seeds some uh, pomelo shards and some mango let's give that a try mmm oh it was very nice very refreshing little bit of pop from the chia seeds and the pomelo. Mm, very nice. Mm. So I think Harmony might get a little bit mad at me because this is just dessert number one and uh, remember the mellow donuts that we have 
Let's give those a try. Dessert number two. So this is a small little taster. And this is a big taster. So let's take a look. Okay, look at this. Harmony, that is for you. And then this <laughs> is for our little taster here. This is the strawberry and cream, raspberry tiramisu for some sugar and chocolate and coffee. And this uh, is the cereal milk donut. And this is a Ferrero Rocher, the leftovers from Christmas. I think they needed to figure out what to do with those. And just to make sure we're a little bit healthy, we've got some matcha stuffed donuts. These are for us to try. So let's cut into it. Oh, look at this. This is sugary crisp on the outside and soft and fluffy on the inside. All right, and then this one's easier to cut with the impeccably clean hands. Oh, look at all that filling. All right, the strawberry and cream. Oh, look at that. Mmm. Nothing like fresh cream and strawberry and that donut is nice and sugary and crispy on the outside, but fluffy and tender inside. Mm. And I think we need to try the tiramisu. Look at all that filling. Mm. Very nice. All right, so this is Chunjidu uh, or uh, QJD as I can, that's a, probably the only way I can pronounce it. Really nice place. Uh, I think this is 150 years old. Um, lots of uh, amazing people here and uh, great Peking duck. But you know, as good as the duck was, I think the lobster was the star of the show. So thank you so much for joining. And uh, again, I hope you're getting uh, a good start to the new year. And uh, from our table to yours, uh, I hope you're keeping well. And again, I hope you're eating well. So with that, uh, all the best to you and God bless. Cheers. Oh, very good.